Hello there folks, these are the hands of me, Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting, and here we have some rather lovely writing paper. Now, as you can probably tell from the big um, name on the front, this is a pad of 40 sheets of blue Basil and Bond watermarked personal writing paper, and well, as it says at the top, established 1911, I mean Basil and Bond, I can remember way back, to me, Basil and Bond has been around effectively forever, I suppose. Um, I can always remember many, many years ago writing me thank you letters at Christmas. And something that's always stayed in my uh, mind is the uh, thick guideline sheet. Um, anyway, just a little bit about the pad. It is, if we flip over onto the back, uh, 40 blue sheets. Let's have a look. Uh, 178 by 137 millimetres. And, well, matches the blue envelopes. And if we have ourselves a look over here and you'll see the blue envelopes to match. Uh, 20 envelopes in this pack and well if we pop ourselves in have a quick look at these and let's just shuffle a few of them out and as you might be able to tell hopefully from the camera the blue is a very very subtle blue it's, in fact it's almost off-white I would say and as you might be able to tell as well, in fact I'll show you um, the watermarks properly in a second, but these are also watermarks, you can just very faintly see the double B sign there, and on the back you can see, uh, well, pretty much what you would expect from an envelope, and these ones in particular have got a self-adhesive uh, lip on them, so that obviously keeps it stuck down. So, if we put those to one side and dive into the pad, now, this comes with, obviously, as you've seen, the uh, guidelines there. And being a quality writing pad, this should easily just pop out. So you've got no risk of tearing your pages as you've uh, been writing and what have you. Uh, so out comes your lines. Then you have a sheet of blotting paper. And, well, just out of uh, random uh, interest, I'll say... If you're not familiar with what blotting paper is used for, basically, if you're writing in a fountain pen or if you're very fancy and have a dip pen, then that can obviously leave a lot of excess ink on the page. And basically, blotting paper, you can press down. In fact, you can even get little things specifically for using with blotting paper. Um, but you can basically press it down on the sheets to uh, absorb any extra paper. And that'll stop it obviously smudging and if you want to flip over and not tear them out to let them dry separately. Uh, so that's what your blotting paper's for, but I don't think personally I've got any um, pens that will put that much ink onto the paper. And well, once again, there's your slightly blue coloured, like I say, almost off-white when you compare it to the blotting paper um, sheets there. And once again, like I say, these will just easily tear out. In fact... And obviously that's perfect, clean cut, no ragged edges or anything at all. And if I get a torch now, I should hopefully be able to show you the watermark. Now hopefully you can see the double B there. And these aren't um, uniform, these are in a different place on each page. It's not like they're specifically in that position. So obviously depending on which sheet you're writing on, those will be appearing at different points. Now I'm not sure if I can show you on the envelopes, not really. But because the um, envelopes are folded over and all the, the paper is watermarked, then you've got watermarks on the front there, you've got watermarks on the back. And well, it's just that sort of really premium feeling. And well, hopefully, if you will um, stay tuned to my other videos, you will get your chance to have some of this through the post, um, as I'm intending, a nice little pen pal idea that will be sort of half online and half in real life. So this will be um, featured a lot more in my videos to come. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'll let you have uh, the details on how you can end up having one of these through the post. With obviously some writing on it. Um, and well, like I say, obviously this is writing paper. So what we're going to want to do is get our sheets, um, our line guides at the back there. As you can see, uh, perfectly visible through. And well, I suppose just do a little bit of writing to demonstrate. Just have a few words here just to end it. As you can see we've got the line guides at the back here and they're perfectly visible through the paper. A uh, word on the pens, this one first that we'll use is a ballpoint cross century classic. This is the black and 23 karat gold version. And well, I suppose if we dive in, give it a few words. Please forgive my writing. Hello YouTube. 
thanks for watching. There, lovely jubbly. <laughs> and well, of course, can't go far without the uh, fountain pen. This is the Parker IM replacing my uh, Parker Frontier. And well, once again, if I say Parker Pen. Basildon Bond. As you can see, I'm not used to writing with a fountain pen. It's been a few years since my old one broke. But yes, well, like I say, I suppose that's really pretty much what you expect from pen on paper. And well, like I say, I don't think I'll be using any blotting paper as, well, as you can see, it's already absorbed into the paper perfectly. No smudging, lovely jubbly. So that's Basildon Bond writing paper. Uh, check out my other videos for loads more notebooks and things like this. Uh, stay tuned for Word on the Pen Pal idea. We'll see how that goes. And, well, you could be getting some of the sheets off this pad through the post soon. All right, thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.